How's it going guys? This is Ben here. We are once again going to go out and hunt Pokemon, but first I have a package to open. Open another one, it looks pretty cool. And Carla got some mail too. She just got her driver's license that she renewed. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> you want to know the first thing that she said? Oh, it's so high definition. You can see the pimple I had. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys remember, I'm gonna set this up. So some of you guys followed me on Twitter and saw that I tweeted out that you can get some Pokemon Go Pluses on Amazon. I was actually able to pick up three. In my video I said two, but there's still one more available when I went to the look. So that's what these are. So we have, we have three of these bad boys. So we have three Pokemon Go Pluses. I'm gonna be giving away one of them in this video. I'll have a I'll have a link to a Gleam giveaway. All you have to really do is be subscribed to the channel and then for however long I set the duration. I don't know, I haven't set it up yet. But yeah, I'm gonna give away one of these. Just be subscribed and you'll be entered. And these are the American ones. These are the I got these at regular price price on Amazon, so I was lucky for that. Because uh there was a few at the local game stops around here, but I was just not early enough to get them. And the other thing I bought was a t-shirt from Nick at Night. You can see that. I actually really enjoyed the color scheme on this one. And I don't know, he's one of my friends, so I was like, you know what, might as well pick it up. So those are the purchases that I got. Now we're gonna head out to eat and then we're gonna continue the hunt. So we are starting off the same way as we did yesterday with a Snorlax here. We'll click on him. Hopefully it's high CP. Oh, I'm lagging here, man. That's never good. Hopefully it didn't despawn or something. Okay, good. Whew. Maybe I didn't get here in time. So it is 2,148. So it does not top the one from yesterday. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say this again. I said this yesterday. So the tracker or the site that is being used is to to find all these is Poke Alert. But I'm not really doing anything. Uh, someone has set up Poke Alert. Um, to scan the area of Green Bay and I'm just checking to see and then it like sends that information to what it finds to a server on discord so I just I just go on the server so what I do is just look to see what has spawned and then I can pick and choose and it gives me the directions how to get there um, so it's like I'm not really doing anything someone else has set this up to work and sadly though it's probably not gonna last very much longer because this Poke, Poke Alert got the letters from Niantic to stop their service so who knows, that's why I'm just going to be hunting all that way, all, all up, up until then. Zen Headbutt and Hyper Beam, nice. Not like make much headway though, but that's alright. We can still use this Snorlax for sure, but that's how it works. And it's not like, if you guys remember Fast Poke, where you're actually scanning, it's just, like, it's doing its own thing, and then dishing out, like, oh, there's, like, a Snorlax at this location, see if you can get there. Like, it's kind of that, so it's, like, hit or miss, but that's what it is, we're going to do it for as long as we can. While we wait for this dry spell of Pokemon Go, because I want to try and keep it interesting and catch some rare stuff for you guys. So, we'll continue on. So this catch here isn't as exciting, but it's still a good one. Dratinis, we'll take those every single time, simply for the candies for Dragonite. I honestly have been trying to save up my Dratini candies so I can evolve another Dragonite, but I know, as you guys know, I wasted a lot on powering up my recent Dragonite and everything. So, come on. Please get it. So hopefully we get this one here. Yes, we did. Awesome. I don't even know what candies I'm at. I have a decent IV one, like a 93 IV Dratini from way back when. So we're at 121. So we just need a couple more catches. We'll praise the bad boy Dragon Breath and Twister. It's above average, not the best. So hopefully something big spawns soon. We're get so getting ready for that Gen 2. We got a Porygon here. Yesterday we got a bunch of Chanseys. We already have good IVs of each of these. 663. Not super strong, but it doesn't matter, dude. We just want him for the candies, because we have the one we want to evolve, and for power up. So we're definitely gonna be ultra balling this. Porygon is so rare. Chansey and Porygon are so, so rare. Come on. They're not the best right now, but I, I believe they will be very good and for when Gen 2 evolutions come out. So we got him. One balled that bad boy. Tackle and discharge. I actually did not know it could know discharge. Okay. So we'll praise him. Certainly caught the attention. Not the best IV, but we're up to 75 candies. That's awesome. I'm, I'm excited for that one. So we're just picking up another Dratini here, and it's getting kind of late, and I kind of want to fix my sleep schedule, guys. I had it really good, like, after Japan. It was, like, it was spot on. Like, I'd go to bed early, get up early, and all was good. Now I'm kind of going back into my old sleep schedule where it's, like, I fall asleep super late at night, get up super late during the day, which sucks because, like, with how early it gets dark outside now, it's really hard to be per like you know when it gets dark outside it's just like oh my god i am a night owl a night person what are you guys like are you like more of a morning person you're more energetic in the morning 
Carl is a morning person. I am such a night person. Like my brain, I can just get a lot more done at night. My brain just functions so much better. And I'm just so, I suck. I'm like a terrible morning person, but I want to get my sleep schedule at least so I can get up before like 11 o'clock and everything. So I got to fix my sleep schedule. So even though I don't have a whole lot of catches from today, uh, because I was, it was a late start today, because like I stated, I stayed up super late last night. I was, I was basically just gaming. I was playing Clash Royale. I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I was playing Pokemon Duel. And then I, I was transferring all my Pokemon, doing my evolutions. And then I just started watching YouTube videos, and then you know how that goes. I actually watched uh, Trainer Tips or Nick's, um, I forget, it was the podcast he did. I forget what it was. So that was really cool to hear his side of his, like, this, his perspective and everything. So yeah, that's why I stayed up so late last night. And I, I want to try and fix that, so I want to try and go to bed early today. So I'll stay up for a little bit longer. Don't know how many more catches I'll get, but just wanted to explain that to you guys. Literally right across the street where that Dratini was, I didn't even need no tracker. I just looked at my sightings, and then there's a Blastoise and a Squirtle chilling right here. It's actually next to the Starbucks and that I got my first ever Pokemon Go Frappuccino. Haven't got one since. <laughs> we got the Blastoise there. We'll click on them. Caught a, quite a few blast toys here. Uh, <laughs> this is the lowest, the lowest starter I have ever caught. I'm still gonna ultra ball him because he's funny to look at. Watch, he's still gonna be crazy hard to catch. That's usually how it goes with these guys. Come on. Not this one though. Awesome. So yeah, I think the lowest previous one that I had was the Venusaur, which was I want to say CP30 something. I don't know if I still have it or not, but we got the blast. I didn't even appraise him. So I'm so bummed out about that. But our recent catch list is so crazy. Like this, I didn't really, like, this is still from yesterday when I hunted. It's so good. I'm, I'm really excited with the catches that we got. While well, we're in the buffer zone still. Squirtle's even stronger. Who would win in a fight, you think? The Squirtle or that Blastoise? <laughs> uh, I, I'd say the Squirtle, man. Even if that Blastoise had like Hydro Pump or something. We got it. Come on. Come on. Got the Squirtle though, nice. So that leaves us with pretty good catches for now. I might have go after a few things, probably stay up for another like 30 minutes, but continue on, man. Another freaking Snorlax, man. God, guys, guys, Green Bay is just, it spawns Snorlax all the time. I don't know why, it's just a hub for Snorlax and Lapras too. Maybe it's because of the the, the, the water that's near here. I'm not really sure, but hopefully the Snorlax stops jumping, man. Like, how does Snorlax even jump? He weighs like two million pounds. Well, not a, I'm just exaggerating there, but he's he's heavy. He's well set, man. <laughs> Come on. I mean, maybe he's grumpy because we woke him up or whatever. Caught him though. We'll take it. Snorlax candies on the rise. I do definitely need a lot of Snorlax candies for all my good Snorlax that I have. Lick and Hyper Beam, the best move set. Not likely to make much headway, but we could use this for training if we'd like. So. Best offensive moose set, I should say. Not bad. So here's something I haven't caught in a while. This is Jolteon. This one's actually outside of a, a church, and it has a huge parking lot. But it's right here. I don't know, we, can, we can throw down our own Snorlax in that gym, too. We've got space for it. So nice. Always nice to see those. Let's see if we can get the Jolteon, man. Strong? Oh, my God. 2,115? I had to like, like I almost didn't, wasn't able to say the word or the, the, the number I should say. I have never seen one of this, these this strong in the wild. This is probably going to be a annoying thing to catch. And I didn't even get a great toss there. So the strongest Jolteon that I have though is like a 98 IV and no, 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 no. I really want this one because that's, that's up there. That's good for going to excellent toss. No raspberry though. I forgot to raspberry. Come on. Come on. If I would have raspberry, I probably would have got the bad boy. So yeah, a lot of you are like, were, were hating on me so much for buying those Ultra Ball packs. And I'm so glad that I did, because otherwise I would not have the amount of Ultra Balls still that I have if I did not do that. But come on, Jolteon, please. This is, well, we'll switch to the Great Ball. Someone, a few people told me like, even though I've sometimes noticed this, there is nothing like, it's just probably all pure speculation or whatever, but if like it instant breaks out, switch to another ball, and it'll give you, it seems as though it'll give you better better luck. We'll see if that holds true here. Nope. <laughs> ah, that didn't please me. 
Dang it, dude. That was a strong Jolteon. I'm really pissed about that one. That's the strongest one I've ever seen. In the wild, I mean. In the wild. I have, I have a 98 of you. That's up there. Still bummed, though. So we got another one of the goofiest Pokemon in the game. <laughs> the freaking Porygons, man. Honestly, I know I said this already. I'll take these every day of the week. In, in the hopes for Generation 2. Would you guys like to see a Gen 2 prep video? Uh, I know pretty much everyone else has covered it already. But uh, do you guys want to see what I've prepared for Generation 2? What I'm all ready for? Like, when well, my candies are set um, and all that stuff. I'll, you've probably already seen it over the last few videos. But would you guys like it in a confined video? Me showing you my candies, which Pokemon and IVs, good IVs I have for for those Generation 2 and everything like that. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Uh, it's late now. I'm... I'm gonna head home. I'm tired. So I actually made it all the way home and then a perfect IV Growlithe spawn So I had to come back and it's right. It's actually right next to the stadium. I don't know if you can see Lambeau Field through there It's it's that lighting right there Lambeau Field So it's in a neighborhood, but this thing better not flee me and if I catch it and it is a perfect IV I'm gonna evolve it on the spot for you guys. We're hoping for fire fink. I don't know how that ball through <laughs> Did you ever just get it where it just kind of like you you kind of just brisk the the screen that I didn't even get a great toss man I need to prioritize doing that more come on Come on Yes, got him awesome. So that's yesterday. We got a hundred IV EV and if this one is a hundred IV and it stays true HP tag defense. Let's go man. So another hundo IV 100 IV Growlithe and we have enough candies so hoping for fire fang fire blast if so, I will max this guy out eventually. Sadly, uh, Arcanines and Growlithe did get a little bit of a nerf on the last balance changes, but that was so long ago. Come on, man. Fire Fang. Fire Blast. At least Fire Fang, because if it's just Fire Fang, it's still so usable. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> That's a trash moveset. That's like the worst moveset we can get. Oh, so yeah, I will not be powering this up. But it is 100 IV to say the least. And then all this, all these Val, like Green Bay is Valor, Mystic, help me out. Whenever I see some of these gyms, and even Lambeau Field has been Mystic, like, or not Mystic, has been Valor. Oh, Venusaur is the top one? Oh no, that was just the first one. So, yeah, they're all level 10 over there, and Valor's just running the debt, like the Green Bay Lambeau Field area, but well, we're gonna head home for real now. <laughs> Finally made it back home. Overall, pretty successful day. So look at my recent catches. I cleared out all of the crappy Pokemon. We got the Arcanine, or the well, it was a Growlithe. Sadly, it was a trash IV. Then we got Porygon, Porygon, a couple Snorlaxes, and then do, this was going back to when I actually hatched that Tangela and Nina. If we scroll up here. This is all my recent catches. It's it's really good, and I'm excited for that. So with that though, uh, don't forget to check out the description for the Gleam giveaway on one of the Pokemon Go Pluses. I have three of these to give away guys. One for right now, so stay tuned for the other two that'll be giving away soon. So yeah, be sure to enter that. All you gotta be is subscribed. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If the hunt if I can hunt tomorrow, I'm gonna do that as well while we pray for Gen 2. But I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys later.